Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got here to Victory Road, and we took on the route before Victory Road, a lot of trainers and stuff. And uh, we made it to Victory Road, of course, here. It's a short Victory Road, actually, for this game. I have, um, Blaze up front. I did say in a text overlay, um, that rhymed hot in the last part, that I'd be raising all my Pokemon up to level 50, except for Blaze. But Blaze is almost level 50. You see, it only needs 501 experience points to raise up to reach level 50. Because at level 50, I want to find out all my Growth and the Arcanine. Because at level 50, Growth will learn, uh, Flamethrower. Um, at level 50. And then, uh, and if I evolve, uh, you know, Growth into Arcanine in the same turn at level 50, it also wear an extreme speed as a Arcanine. So yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, also Sobro, who is, uh, my bro Slow, my Sobro, who is, uh, not with us because we have a, a Red Gardas or a Water HM Slave guy. Uh, he is also level 50, but he's in the PC right now, so yeah. So I'm gonna purposely run into another wild Pokemon, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's hop on our bike to go a bit faster. Okay, here it is. Okay, hopefully, we can, hopefully, hopefully, Blaze can take out this, uh, Graveler, it looks like, yeah. It's level 34, nice, okay. So, Blaze is still 15 levels higher than this thing, so that's awesome. Let's go for the Flame Wheel, see how much it does. Okay, this, yeah, let's take on this Graveler. Hopefully, we can take it out soon and quick before it uses self destruct or something, you know? It puts a little bit over half, awesome. It's gonna just roll out. Uh, as long as that doesn't become a big roll combo, we should be fine. Yeah, this flame wheel should faint it, so that's awesome. And yeah. I'm pretty sure this is all she wrote. Yep, exactly. Nice. And just enough expense to to level 50. Awesome. Okay, Blaze is trying to learn flamethrower. Yay. But Blaze can't learn the muffin moves. Okay, do you know what I'm for flamethrower? Yes. Which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um... Let's get, rid of, let's get rid of Ember. Yeah, one two poof. Boys forgot Ember and Boys Land Flame there. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually finally give him the Firestone that we had since like part 9, I guess, of this playthrough. Something like that. Maybe even less, maybe more as a later part, I don't know, on the number. Let's use the Firestone on Blaze. What? Blaze is evolving? Yeah, Blaze is evolving. Nice. Awesome. There we go. Nice, it's on our K9 now. Congratulations, your boy is evolved into our K9. Awesome. Boys is trying to learn extreme speed, yay. Going to move for moves. Yes, let's get rid of um let's get rid of uh let's get rid of takedown, I guess. Yeah, one turn poof. Boys got takedown and boys learn extreme speed. And also, the last movie we want to teach it actually is, like, is actually a team we got from Claire. The team for uh, Dragon Breath. Yeah, Team 24 Dragon Breath. Yeah, awesome. Teach Dragon Breath the Pokemon? Yes, yeah, so let's give it to Blaze. Of course, Gyarados can learn it, but whatever. We're going to teach it to Blaze anyway. Instead, I should say. Do you want to move to Dragon Breath? Which one should be forgotten? Let's give it a bite. So, yeah, yeah. So, in the span of like less than five minutes, Blaze is just a. Uh, I learned three new moves that are permanent members. The only, the only permanent uh, move that was not taught him just now was Flame Wheel, so that's awesome. And, uh, yeah. Um, do I want to, I'll put a repel on actually. Yeah, we should be good. Let's put a repel on. Yeah, there we go, nice. We have 23 of them after this, awesome. And, uh, yeah, my Pokemon should be able to repel it because all my Pokemon are level 50, even including Slowbro on the PC, he's level 50. So that's awesome. So let's get through Victory Road. Here's an item, it's a full heal, it's a hidden item, it's a rock, awesome. Cool. So, yeah, let's move on. We got some, uh, trainers, I guess, up here soon, but yeah. Okay. We get a full heal here, awesome, another full heal, nice. And we get another Max Survive, awesome. Or a Max Survive, I should say. I think that's the first Max Survive I've got in the playthrough so far. You'd think that there'd be an item here, but I guess not. Oh well. Oh well. And then we're done with the first four of Victor Road, pretty much, or the first area. Yep, there's no item here, okay. Cool. Over here's an item, though. It is an HP up, awesome. So out of my party members, who has the least amount of HP? It may even be Slowbro in the PC, but I don't have Slowbro with me, but that's okay. 
You is on, let's see here, 80, 181, 163, 148. Thank God Weakest Link is Mystic here because Mystic has 148. Awesome. So let's go with that. Now Mystic has 150. Awesome, 150 PP. Or HP, I should say. Cool. Nice. And, uh, I don't, is there any trainers in here, honestly? Because I thought there would be some trainers. Hmm. Maybe it's just empty. We're actually almost at the end, actually. Up there's the end. But I'm gonna go around here. And we're gonna hop over this ledge, I guess. And go down this ladder. And here is a, um... Here is a forest door. Awesome. Cool. So our first forest door, first forest door of the playthrough, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nice. Let's put that above high proportion. Yeah, nice. I have to go back around, though. That's okay. I think this is, you can easily get through here in like 5 minutes honestly if you, if you use a repel and stuff. Somewhere around there. So yeah, let's uh, put a, another um, max repel on I guess. Is there anything else behind here? I don't know if there is. I could check though. Nope, I guess not. Okay, cool. And yeah, we're pretty much done at Victory Road. It's pretty short honestly. When I said it was short, I meant it was really, really short. But here's the TM for Earthquake, actually, right here, which we're going to teach us Sanders, I believe. So TM26 for Earthquake, awesome. With the TM, TM pocket, okay, cool. And here's the Max Potion, awesome. Nice. And we can go back around again. And let me just double check the one teaches the Sanders, because I think Sanders is the one who gets to learn it by TM. Okay, I just looked it up on my notes, and uh, I do want to teach, uh, you know... I do want to teach Earthquake to Sanders because that's one of his final moves. So that's awesome. Okay, to teach Earthquake to Pokemon, of course. Uh, Sanders and Megan can learn it, but I want to teach it to Sanders because Sanders gets the same type of attack from us because Sanders is a pure ground type. Yeah, but Sanders can learn the moves. moves. We don't move to Earthquake, yes. Which moves should be forgotten? Well, it's final moves that's going to be Earthquake, Strength, Slash, and Dig. So I'm going to give it a Mud Slap finally. One, two, and poof. Sanders for Mud Slap and Sanders learned Earthquake. Awesome. Nice. So now we can finally go to the very end of the victory road after we get all that. Oh wait, look, it's Smat. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. I have all my Pokemon with me are the float except for my HM slave. Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not I'm, always, I'm not like I was before. I now have the strongest I have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Steven, I challenge you. Of course, let's uh, see if I can one-shot all your po- uh, my, my challenge for this battle is trying to one-shot all your Pokemon. So yes, my once the battle is, it's a six-on-six six battle. I, I don't even have one of my main Pokemon with me, so good luck with that. Oh, you start off with Sneasel? I happen to start off with my fire type. Interesting, yay. Yeah, this could be fun. Yeah, I'm going to be ranging my moves. Flamethrower attack, please. Yeah, the Sneasel would, you know, Blaze is 16 levels higher than the Sneasel because it's level 34 in male. Let's see how much the Flamethrower does because it's super effective, right? Yeah, because it's an, because Sneasel is an ice type, ice and dark type Pokemon. So yeah, there goes that one, first one shot, I guess. Cool. Good gold bat. Um, I guess I can still stay in with, uh, with, um, with Blaze, I guess. Why not? Let's go for the another Flamethrower. I could also just use Psychic on gold bat, but whatever. So I probably won't one-shot this thing, honestly, but whatever. I'll, um, come close to it. Oh, I did one-shot it. Awesome. Cool. So far, my challenge is a success so far. Nice. Haunter. Okay, let's give that- let's, uh... Let's go to Mystic, I guess. There we go. Nice. So this hunter is level 35 in male, I guess. I forgot to see how much the um how, how, how tough the gold bat was, like what level and stuff. Let's go for the psychic, because psychic's gonna be super effective, and it gets same, and Mystic gets the same type of attack bonus. Mystic is 15 levels higher than this thing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's super effective. Awesome. Awesome. So far, we've shot half it. we shot half of his Pokemon so far. Magneton. Okay, let's go to Sanders. Nice. Okay. Magneton is, uh, what level now? Level 35, so it's, so Sanders is still 15 levels higher than this thing. So yeah, let's go for the Earthquake on this thing. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> and this Magneton is genderless, by the way. There we go, one shot again. I've one shot four of the six of your Pokemon, so I'm in pretty good shape. 
You haven't even touched any of my Pokemon, Smat, sorry. Or damage them, I should say, or cause damage to them. Okay, um, Kadabra. I guess we can go back to Mystic and use Shadow Ball. But I don't know if Shadow Ball won't hit, won't hit KO it though. So this Kadabra is level 35 in male. So, uh, Mystic is still 15 levels higher than this thing. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. It's gonna be super effective, but I don't know if it'll one shot it. Yeah. There we go, awesome. So I've one-shot all his Pokemon except for his starter, basically. And he finally evolved his Koala into Typhosion. See right there, awesome. Uh, I, w I would use, um... I would use, uh, Solbro in this case, but I guess I just Sanders. And just do an Earthquake again. So yeah, if you chose, uh, if you chose Chikorita like me, your, your rival here will have a Typhosion. If you chose Typhosion like my rival, sh uh, he will have a, um, Feraligate. And if you chose Feral- If you chose, uh, I mean, for Cyndaquil, you'd have, your rival would have a Feral Gator. If you had a, if you chose, um, if you chose t Cyndaquil, they would have a Feral Gator. I already said that. And if you chose Totodile, she would have a, your, your rival would have a Meganium, like me. So yeah, let's go for the Earthquake again. Another Earthquake. This is level 38 in male. We're still 12 levels higher than this thing. And will we one shot his, his Typhlosion as starter? Awesome, we will. Awesome, nice. So we one shot always Pokemon, really. Just because I'm so overleveled. Yeah, okay, Smat was defeated. Cool. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. Technically, you didn't even get to use a move on any of my Pokemon, but okay. Okay, what is what you possess is what I lack. And I'm beginning to what, understand what that Dragon Master just said to me. Thanks for the 2,280 Pokedex. If you know, you know, if all of it was part of the battle, that money would have been doubled. But that's okay. I haven't given up and became the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you, and I'll beat you down with all of my power. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. You keep at it until then. Hey, Pokemon League challenges is the other way, man. Sorry. So yeah, this is about 23. It's a very short route. You can you can see it in like one frame right here. So it's kind of funny. Let's read the sign. Uh, Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon League HQ headquarters, I should say. That's what HQ stands for. Now, if you want to go back to Kanto, this guy will use his Ab or tell his Abra to teleport you back there. But I want to heal my Pokemon real quick. So yeah. Nice. Okay. We did, we, um, healed up our Pokemon, yay. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's see here, um, let's go to Bill's PC first, I guess. Deposit, um, Gyarados, I guess. There we go, nice. And we're gonna withdraw our, our Spro so guy, our Sobro. There he is, right there, nice. See, he's level 50, awesome. And, uh, let's see, do we have to just put any items in the PC? I think we have to put a couple of max potions in the PC. So, yeah. Max potion, yeah, max potion, max arrive, I guess. Actually, we should keep the max revives with us just to have them, I guess. So, let's actually draw the um, max revive we got. We found it in Victory Road. Not max potion, dang it. Max survive, there we go, nice. Okay, let me organize my bag for a second. I think I just have to move one thing. Yeah, right there, nice. There we go, nice. Just switching to my bag, I guess. Um, for items though, but we have a lot of money, don't we? Okay, cool. Let's buy like five or six, let's buy six more Ultra Balls. Um, Max Repels, let's buy like five of them more, five more. Um, Hyper Potions, let's buy five more. Max Potions, we don't really want to, I don't really want to buy. Full Stores, let's buy four more. We already have, we already have, we already have um, five, four or five of them now, because we have found one in Victory Road, I guess. Full, uh, rep Revives, let's buy five more. Uh, Full Heals, let's buy seven, I guess. Just to have seven. Yeah, there we go, nice. And now let's see our um, um, uh, items now, actually. Let's, let's start from the very top. Let's see, we have uh, five full restores, ten super potions, one milk, two super potions, nine potions, uh, nine antidotes, ten paralysis, 
You know, I might as well, I just might as well sell all my, um, other, uh, stats conditioning items for money, actually, because I'm probably not gonna use nine antidotes, to be honest. So, yeah. Even though that may, that may be very, the best deal, I guess, with money wise, but it's, yeah, I wanna, I wanna have as much space in my bag, too. It's yeah, even five pocket dollars for the person keeper area. Cool. Um, full heals, we have 17 ice heals. Yeah. Awakenings, let's buy let's see, a three, I guess, all three. Let's sell both of them for 10 pocket dollars, apparently. Yeah, nice. And, uh, let's buy three more full heals. Let's Except for, I don't think we need to put 24 heals, honestly. That's a little overboard. So, yeah. Let's start from the very bottom. Um, beginning again, we have five, uh, four stories, um, eight hyper potions, or ten hyper potions, my bad. One moment milk, uh, two super, super potions, nine potions. We want, we want to buy more super potions, potions off screen, actually. Um, escape, two escape ropes, 17 full heals, one max revive, 13 revives, 27 max repels, uh, one smoke ball, and that's about it, yeah. Cool. So when you're ready, you can go through the uh, stairs right here and enter the Pokemon League challenge and start off with the first member of the week four. But for me, I might as well show this. I'm gonna go back to some other towns and uh get um and uh um and uh try to buy some more super potions. I, I don't think I can really fly to a town on Kanto because I've already um unless however can fly back to Jota from here, but I don't think that's true. Yeah, don't, yeah, I have to get back, I have to go back to Jota manually, I guess. So I'll meet you guys back in Jota where I can buy some, uh, super potions and potions. So yeah, more super potions and potions. See you guys in a second. Okay, I'm here in Echo Tech City again. Uh, I think we can buy super potions and potions here at this point. I'm guessing at least, um, let's buy, um, yeah, we can buy some potions. Okay, cool. So I have nine potions. So I want to buy, um, I guess six, um, potions to make an even 15. And then how many um, po super potions do I have? I forget. Um, two. Okay, I'll buy 13 super potions then. And nice, that sounds like good. There we go, awesome. And I'm gonna fight. Oh, now I'm gonna meet you guys back in the Indigo Plateau in Kanto. Oh, Alan's school boy's bugging me again. Hello, it's me, Alan. See, when are you ready using your Pokemon properly? I read a book that you should raise any Pokemon you catch with love and care. That's true. By the way, a wild Pidgey escaped on me yesterday. A computation, a computation error on my part. I don't know if I said that right. See you later. Click, click, click. Oh, Alan's school boy. You're so funny. So I'll see you guys um, in the PC and, uh, not in the PC, but the, um, Indigo Plateau in Kanto, basically. Okay, here I am back in the, um, Indigo Plateau uh, in Kanto. So I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick, and then I actually withdraw, um, Gyarados again out of the PC so I can climb the waterfall to get back here when I backtrack from Kanto after buying the super potions and the potions that I got from Mechatic City. So yeah, full heal Pokemon now, awesome. And I'm gonna put Gyarados in the PC again. And with you, um, Brosol, my soul bro. So yeah, Bulls PC, Bills PC, deposit Pokemon. Let's deposit Gyarados. There we go, nice. And let's withdraw our Slowbro, our Bursal guy. There he is. Cool. So yeah, that's awesome. Let's see, um, the first person of the way four is the master of psychic type Pokemon. So. I guess I could put Mystic up front to start off. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm gonna pick one on level 50 and we're ready for the Pokemon League. So that's awesome. And next probably take on the first member of the week four. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. It's gonna be Will. His name is Will and he's the master of psychic Pokemon. So yeah. So this has go again. I would like to mention goodbye and see you guys explore my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough guide. <laughs>